Hey team, welcome back to another adventure. If you haven't been here before, I'm Nick. I make spearfishing, freediving and adventure content here on YouTube. Today I am sitting in my garden, not super adventurous, but I'm going to go for a little recap of a dive I went for this afternoon. Managed to sneak one in after work, managed to get the drone up for a bit. Had a pretty cool encounter with a quite special fish here in New Zealand and got a bit of food cooked up afterwards as well. So yeah, finished work pretty early and chucked the drone up um, to check out this piece of coastline that I was going to be diving. Pretty nice piece of coast and a nice pinnacle just off there as well um, with water kind of on all sides of it. Um, now when you're diving a pinnacle like this, which is where I've spent most of my time, um, you do want to find the up current side of the pinnacle um, and that is where the current's going to well up against the side of the pinnacle or the rock. It's going to bring up minerals with it. So the bait fish are going to be feeding on the minerals and then the bigger fish are going to be feeding on those bait. So that's the general idea anyway. Yeah, I spent a bit of time kind of swimming around this rock until I got to that up current side and then started getting schooled by, yeah, kind of um, schools of Kahawai. There were a big school of Blue Mau Mau there. Um, saw a school of rat kingfish as well. Um, and spent a little bit of time there um, doing some dives. Uh, didn't end up taking anything too serious, but did get a couple of blue Mau Mau to take home um, to cook up for some dinner. So I spent a little bit more time diving and then found a cave which uh, looked pretty good for some crayfish and as I got down and kind of peered into this cave, this fish was in there looking back at me and it turned out to be a black spotted groper. I'd seen photos of them before but I'd never seen one in person. That was pretty cool. So black spotted groper, I've done a bit of research since I got home, are um, one of New Zealand's only protected fish. I think the only protected fish here in New Zealand. And they have a range from Southeast Australia over a couple of the islands into the Northern waters of New Zealand. The only known breeding population is at the Kermadex. Um, and they can actually get up to around two meters long and up to 80 kilos or so. Obviously this one was quite a lot smaller than that, um, but I also read that when they are around 100 centimeters, they do a shift from a female into a male. So this one, quite a lot smaller than that, was definitely a female. What I found really cool was it was behaving pretty unlike any other fish species that I've seen in the water before. Um, it was kind of sitting at the mouth of its hole and when I'd come around the corner, it would duck back into the back of its hole. Even when I was down in front of the hole looking at it, it would just sit there, sitting at the back, looking at me. Um, quite similar to a lot of the reef fish that I've seen in videos um, from over in Australia or over in the islands, things like coral trout and stuff like that. So pretty, pretty unique to see something um, displaying that behavior here in New Zealand waters. And so I saw it four or five times as I came back to the cave to check it out again. Um, and the cave was definitely its home and I'm hoping that I can get back and see it again at that same spot. So I was pretty stoked with that little interaction and ended up jumping back on the boat and cruising home and then got into some cooking. So I did a really basic beer batter recipe. First thing you want to do is cut up your fish into nice kind of two bite sized pieces. Set them aside in a bowl. After that get your flour in a bowl and slowly add your beer to it as you whisk the flour. I was using the Spate Summit Ultra Low Carb Lager because that's what I had in my fridge. You wanna get it to a nice smooth consistency. Now you're supposed to add the salt and the pepper before the beer, but I forgot to went in afterwards. 
and then you can dunk your fish pieces in there and get them into some nice hot oil. Two or three minutes in the pan is enough and then after that just chuck them on the plate. You can season them a little bit more with some more salt and pepper. Get them with a dipping sauce or something like that and a squeeze of lemon always goes well. I really enjoyed these uh, beer batter fish bites and definitely would recommend trying them out for yourself. It's a pretty simple recipe but definitely one that works quite well. Hope you enjoyed that guys. If you did please feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be chucking out as much content as I can over the summer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.